However, the Shadow Deputy Leader and other colleagues raised several concerns and sought clarifications on a number of issues that went unanswered or have been left unaddressed. The issues raised included the Fund's future accountability and the potential to amalgamate the administration of members' funds. Given my uh, honourable friend, the Shadow Deputy Leader's uh, constituency, the world's largest fishing port no less, I did promise to try to do my best to weave in a fish or seafood pun or two, so here goes nothing. Um, despite her best efforts to winkle information out of the honourable member for Mole Valley and Ministers, um, the, the Government appeared to clam up in committee and would prefer to skate over some of the issues involved. We, we, won't, we won't stand for it. We've had enough of ministers who refuse to answer questions in this place. And, 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 Mr Speaker, the money involved here is not tiny. The tuna, several million squid, is involved in this bill. I do apologise. Some £7 million, according to the House of Commons Library briefing. Members deserve appropriate answers given the sum of money involved. Now, our role, our role take the bait, please take the bait. Uh, our role in opposition is to hold the government to account and scrutinise and scrutinise as effectively as possible, however much the government tries to prevent us, uh, our ability to do so through plans to reduce the short money, for example. Since the committee says some improvements to the bill has been made, in, uh, as members have had time to mull it over further. Um, but no answer has yet been provided about the amalgamation issue, which has now simply been removed from the face of the bill. This is a red herring to distract those who recognise the benefit of a potential merger and were willing to explore the option at a later stage. I hope answers will be provided today in respect of the Right Honourable Member for Newcastle upon Tyne East and the Honourable Member for Sheffield South East dogged pursuit of the issue in Bill Committee. The latter has expressed his concern that this bill could represent a missed opportunity if the issue is now simply lost or ignored.